Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top tips for editing video faster. So just to give you a bit of background, I have been editing on Premiere Pro for the last three years and I've edited over 300 videos. So I picked up a few tips and tricks along the way and today I'm just going to be showing you my top tips of the day. So in saying that, I'm not going to keep you too long. Let's get straight into the video. So just jumping straight into it, I have one of my old Premiere Pro project files open. This is actually from my last tutorial, so I have a few clips lined up that are uncut, unedited, and just ready to go on the timeline. So getting straight into it, my first tip is to change your keyboard shortcuts to make your cuts button at E. So often I see people going over to the left here, choosing the razor tool manually, and then going into each clip, cutting it manually with the click of the mouse. But instead of going all the way over to the left over here, or even just pressing C on your keyboard and choosing the razor tool, what I've done is go over to Premiere Pro in the menu, go to keyboard shortcuts, and then just go ahead and search for add edit. As you can see, I already have added the button E to my add edit section. The default setting for this is command K. I just feel like that's too much of an effort to press two buttons at the same time sounds crazy but E is way quicker and just when you see getting into the later tips it works so much better with the other tips I have coming so just set E to your keyboard literally all you need to do is click on this line here hit E and it'll add it to your keyboard obviously I have it ready so it's not going to do it then once you're done with that hit OK and now what you can do is go over to your clip move the cursor to wherever you want and literally just hit E on your keyboard and it'll make a cut right there for you without doing anything so you can stay on your selector tool move over to wherever you want just just hit E and it makes a cut for you straight away. So up next is the ripple click delete instead of right clicking and saying ripple delete. Once you've made your cut, say you don't want the section here anymore, you hit delete on your keyboard. Now what I've seen people do is right click and say ripple delete. What's even quicker than doing all that is just clicking in that space where the dark gray section becomes white and then literally just press delete, no need to right click. I know these all seem like really quick things and like it's not going to make that much difference but if you add all the time up over the total project, these little things start to add up and save you a bunch of time. Up next is using the Q and W keys for ripple delete. Now this one really changed the game for me. It's even quicker than cutting, deleting the clip and then clicking the space and clicking delete on your keyboard. Q cuts the whole clip backwards. So if we just move forward a little bit here we have this space on the left of the clip. If we hit Q it literally just cuts back all the space that's found on the left. So instead of going all the way here, going to your razor tool, clicking on the clip, going back to the selection tool, clicking on that, hitting delete, going to this space, or even just moving the clip back there, going to this space, triple delete, then moving everything. You can do all of that with one click of a button if you just move your cursor over, hit Q, it'll move everything back for you. So if we look at the whole timeline, as you can see on the right over here, if we hit Q, it brings everything back. Literally just in one click, it'll m move the back of the clip backwards. And alternatively, if you hit W on your keyboard, it'll cut everything to the right over here and move everything backwards. So if we hit W, you'll see it'll cut just on 003 there and move all of these clips back to where you just made the cuts. So as I was saying earlier, where E really comes into play with cutting your clips, when you have all of these keys set up, you can cut and move through your footage so much quicker without lifting your left hand at all. So if you just place your three fingers on Q, W and E, you can move through everything without lifting your left hand. So if I want to cut that back there, just hit Q on my keyboard, keep playing and I want to stop there, hit W, move forward. I don't like that clip there, so I can just hit E, click on there, click there again, hit delete. It's just so much easier. Say I don't want that, hit Q on my keyboard, cut it back, hit spacebar again to play forward, hit the W key and you can just go through your clips so much quicker than moving around with your mouse all the time. So really it just saves you a bunch of time when trying to edit all of your clips super quickly like this. You can move through it with such a rapid pace. And then my last tip which doesn't really play on the cutting part of these clips but more so the speed and duration and what I always used to do, I use speed and duration quite a lot in my editing and I always used to right click on the clip and then come over to speed duration and there's no indication of a shortcut in here so I always just did this, came and clicked on here and then changed the speed but I found 
a way that is much quicker and much easier than right clicking all the time because it just became a pain when you had to do this for each and every clip so instead of right clicking and selecting speed duration all you need to do is select the clip and hit command r and that will bring up the speed duration window for you easier as that you can choose the speed that you want if you want to do 200 whatever just speed the clip up there we go easy as that so just a quick recap make sure to change your keyboard shortcuts to make e for cut just makes it a whole lot easier to cut things and selecting the razor tool. Up next is the click ripple delete instead of right clicking ripple delete and then taking that a step further is using the W and Q keys to ripple delete cut back and forward. And then lastly, as you just saw right now, is to use Command R to go to the speed and duration window. And there we go, those are my top tips for editing video faster. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Obviously, I've only left you a very few amounts of tips, so if you have your own tips, anything that you've discovered along the way of editing in Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro? <laughs> Premiere Pro, please leave it down in the comments below and let's start a discussion so that everyone can learn together. I'm sure that there's some things that I don't even know, so it would be really helpful if everyone leaves their suggestions down in the comments below. But in saying that, I'm gonna end today here. If you did like the video, please leave a like. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button for new tutorials every single Wednesday, as well as cinematic films every single Saturday. In the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.